Hi guys, thanks a lot for the visit. There is hope. You know, all the V-notes we are hearing now is that the money is around, though they are saying it's not in Apostle Ken's account, but they are saying it's in the CBN. So this voice note now, you have the chief priest you now hear him saying that the money is in Nigeria, but it's with CBN, it's not with Apostle Ken, but they will disperse very, very soon. So, although the advantage of all this pressure is that it's putting them under pressure to dispose. So, just listen to the V-note. Listen to the V-note. Drop your comment in the description. We need the money this month, particularly this week. Guys, drop your comment. We pray. Pray. This will sort us out this week. See you at the end of the video. Yes, I'm here to tell you the truth. And if I lie to you people, let God punish me. But if I don't lie... God, let me excel. I believe, uh, God, let elevate me. I'm here to tell Nigeria the truth. And if you don't, if you listen to all these liars that they don't know anything, collecting money, exhausting from you, you are on your own. This is the truth. The stage they have for now, God has done it for us. The money is, the money is in central bank. I said there is government involved. involved. I don't say government hijack it. People now, they now flew outside and say, ah, I said government has hijacked it. Even though Google Yard has said that the government belongs to, uh, what do I call it, belongs to NGOs. Yes, truly, it belongs to the NGOs. Did the NGOs have power to remove the money? Is it not going to pass through the government? Eh? Even though you, go, you don't go to school, you can't you sit down and think about it? Nigerians, this is the truth. That's why they call profiling. Apostle Ken has done the profiling. He has passed through all uh, and all these um, government agencies, EFCC, all of them they have passed through all of it. They have done whatever they're supposed to do. And by God's grace, they have dropped the accounts they want to use to collect this money, which is three accounts. The three parties have signed, and um, they are waiting for the for for uh, what do I call it CBN to drop the money into their. That is all. If CBN drop this money to the account today, today, which is Sunday, or let me see on Monday, they will disburse between between twenty four to forty eight hours. They will disburse the money. They will disburse the money. That is it. They have done everything perfectly. What happened between them is the second one that came. They have disagreement and God have said to it. Thank God. Good morning, Nigerians. This is the voice of Shikari Tajina Jai, the Akonga Bekoy of the world. Uh, I appreciate the Lord for giving us another opportunity to witness today, being Sunday, the 11th February, year 2024. Also, I give God, God the glory for giving me the opportunity to see what is happening, to know what is happening between the two parties. My appreciation goes to the country director and the person of Apostle Ken Wakama, Pastor Felix Amokwitan. I'm my pastor from Yoruba land, Pastor John Oluoyo. I, I really thank my brother, that is uh, the powerful president, Comrade Abdul, German machine. May the Lord bless you all. I know what you people are passing through. Nigerians, I'm out this morning to tell you the truth about what happened. And uh, I want to appreciate all my fans, everyone in Grant community, my lovers, may the Lord bless you all. I will not forget those people that are in diaspora. May God bless you all too. 
I really appreciate you all. In my last VN, I received a lot of challenges because I always say this, English is not our language. And some people, they will not even listen to your VN. If one person has listened and the person now come out to tell Nigerians this is what Akongo said, everybody will just take it like that. It is very good. If someone tell you this is what someone said, go and listen to it by yourself. Maybe you will understand the English. Um, I really thank my people. I so much love you. Thanks for the love you have for me. But I want to tell Bubu Yaya. Uh, because he mentioned some things that I want to reply him, not to abuse him. Because God that sent me message already fight for me. So I don't need to abuse him and I'm, I don't abuse people. All I have to all I, I do say is the truth. And I don't come out to the public to say what I don't know. Firstly, you said as an chief, I should go back to my community to sit down in my community. I want to tell you, go and uh, make your research very well. Akogun means war maker, a warrior. I was sent by God. I did not send myself. I did not force myself to come out. Akogun is a warrior, a fighter. A lot of you that call yourself a fighter, you called yourself. It is not God that called. That's why most of you failed. Go and make your research very well. I've never come out to exhaust Nigerians. We all had the stories of all of you when they were there. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to tell you who Akogun is. You know what I'm saying now? And thank God I was promoted. Wish they are going to give me the sword on the 18th of this month. I don't want to declare it publicly. I say, let me just take it because of what happened to me. The attack. I was uh, that happened to me in a quick way. That's why I don't want to declare it publicly. I just want to stay, take it to start my work, my proper work that God sent me to do. I'm a man of peace. If you get to follow me very well, you see I always preach love, love, one Nigeria. We have been deceived by our religious leaders and also some of our kingsmen, powerful men, we have been deceived by them, saying tribalism is the best. That's the reason why you see killings here and there. And those men we are talking about, their family are in abroad. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to run to anywhere. This is Nigeria. Nigeria go better. That is it. Yes. Nigeria go better. Now I may stand on. Again, there is a security alert. Saying it, maybe through your voice or some other voices that I want to call for protest. And when they called, I said, they should go and listen to what I said in my VN. I said, all oh, grand fighters, if you want protest, come to Abuja because all of you, you stay in your uh, in your state. You are in your comfort zone. Most of you don't know what is going on. You just come out and be saying what you don't know. 
Say, if you people want protest, come to Abuja, let's talk together. Just only one person that called. Because I know you people cannot come. Abuja is very, very expensive. That is the reason why Admiral have got to start demanding money from the masses again. Oh my God. Our people are gullible. We are trying to make sure that you people should not go into wrong hand. All I'm trying to do is to stop scam in grand community. This guy that called Admiral Perfect is scam again. Admiral, I want to ask you this question. Come out and lay calls on yourself. If truly the money has dropped, truly the money has dropped into the account of the country director. The money has not dropped. And you were saying that the money, that's the reason why, well, that's the day you, you, you came out, you were abusing power of five. Someone that can, that can even feed you and your family. You are abusing the man. Uh, in fact, I was so I was so annoyed when I yeah, listened to your voice demanding to two thousand naira, and you perfect your coming way. You really perfect it. I don't know Nigerians. Why do you believe in this kind of a human being? This guy is an animal. In fact, people that in Nakaribon, the people that call themselves uh, grant uh, owner or what they call themselves that uh, they are having a uh, meeting as a grant uh, CEO. In a, in a quiet bomb. You should go after, if this boy is in Lagos, I swear to Almighty God, my boys will go and arrest him. You should go after this boy. At this point of time, when someone will call you that, the, he need just only 1,000 naira to eat. You now come out because you want to eat, you want to eat people's money. You promise, you have, you, you, you promise them that you give them bundles, that they should give you 2,000 naira, you want to go to newspaper. Which bundle are you giving to them? Which bond do you have to want to give to them? Why are these coming? You you claim you are fighting for the masses and you are exhausting money from the masses. Why are all this? And you, you go and open a goggle, uh, this is that they should they start putting their the receipt inside the goggle something. Uh, in fact, I'm highly disappointed in Admirio. You are in fact you are a thief, you are a criminal, and God will punish you for what you did. People are suffering. You are still collecting money. In fact, I'm, my blood is hot. You are still collecting money from people, telling them, putting them in a wrong way that the money has dropped into the account of the country director. If I lie today is Sunday, God punish me if the money has dropped to the account of the country director. If it's not going to drop to the account of the country director and you lie to scam people, God will punish you. You are a bloody man. I'm hot. Why are this coming in this, in, 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 in this ecosystem? Why are you killing people with lies because you want to hit money? It is not good. You always come out to tell Nigerians the wrong things. You will go to a newspaper, national newspaper. Do you think they are, they are fools? They will not find their, their, uh, the real thing before they bring it out. It is today I will tell Nigerians the truth. And if you hear the truth and you are still listening to all these scammers, it, you, are, you people are your own. I said I'm going to find out. I'm coming out to tell Nigerians the truth. And you listen to this stupid and non entity thief still collecting money. I've heard that you have collected more than from more than 200 people. The voice is with me. Why are this in Nigeria? You claim you are fighting for, for the masses and you are scamming them. There's a time you, you came out, you said you give them, a, a, they should start bringing 1,000 naira. You give them 1 million naira. Are you Grant Atlas? Are you one of the Grant Atlas? Why all this? Why all this extortion? Why? Nigeria, I'm here to tell you the truth. And if I lie to you people, let God punish me. But if I don't lie, God, let me excel. I believe, uh, God, let elevate me. I'm here to tell Nigeria the truth. And if you don't, if you listen to all these liars that they don't know anything, collecting money, exhausting from you, you are on your own. This is the truth. The state they have for now, God has done it for us. The money is the money is in central bank. I said there's government involved involved. I don't say government are jacket. 
people now they now flee us and say ah i said government has hijacked it even though Google Yard has said that the government belongs to uh what i call it belongs to ngos yes truly it belongs to the ngos did the ngos have power to remove the money is it not going to pass through the government eh? even though you're going to, you don't go to school you can't you sit down and think about it Nigerians, this is the truth. That's what they call profiling. Apostle Ken has done the profiling. He has passed through all uh, and all these um, government agencies, EFCC, all of them have passed through all of it. They have done whatever they're supposed to do. And by God's grace, they have dropped the accounts they want to use to collect this money, which is three accounts. The three parties have signed, and um, they are waiting for the for for uh, what do I call it CBN to drop the money into their. That is all. If CBN drop this money to the account today, today, which is Sunday, or let me see on Monday, they will disburse bet between twenty four to forty eight hours. They will disburse the money. They will disburse the money. That is it. They have done everything perfectly. What happened between them is the second one that came. They have disagreement and God have said to it. Thank God. We have Pastor Amopita is a pastor. He said a lot. He can never lie to me. The other pastor, John Oruyo, he said a lot. He cannot lie. I believe in those pastors. I believe in them. Apostle Ken, he said a lot. He showed me a lot of things that are supposed to show to me. So what I'm saying is that at times there must be fight between two people. And the best is to, to say to say to them. So the money is in central bank, which they are expecting the money to drop. Everything has been done perfectly, nothing again. All these voice know that are flying around this we talk his own down we talk you know one person say ah opposed to 10 he wants to take the money he wants to eat it he wants to run away on his own what are possible is all this some people say oh grand pressure group they want to collect the money they want to it's not possible this that the, the grant is in two two ways the small one they have been talking about is already on grant everything has been done perfectly the second one is the biggest one that they said after they disburse this small one, in the next two, three weeks, the second the second one will be disbursed. As they are planning for the first one, the second one came. Just it's just a blessing. And let me tell you, Nigerian, this the second camp, they are not happy about this. They have been attacking these people spiritually, cooking stories before uh uh I mean, will come at that. UAG don't have money. When they find out that the money is there, it's not saying that they, they, have, they, are, they have collected the money, they don't want to disburse it. Nigerians, I'm telling you, if you see this man called Apostle Ken, oh my God, someone that say he has collected the money, don't want to disburse it, you will pity him. If this man get this money, if they said he, he has a way to, to disburse it in just one hour, one hour time, this man will disburse it. There is nothing they have done their profiling. What I mean by profiling, people in government we know what we call profiling. They have done it perfectly. Even though when they drop two accounts, they called him to drop another account because the money can never enter into two accounts, which they did. These people who cannot kill them. They are human beings like us. APGN and human beings like us. Apostle Ken is a human being like us. We should just stop all this, uh, all this V note that is not genuine. He's killing a lot of people. He's giving people hypertension. I just want to advise Nigerians. Don't kill yourself when death is not looking for you. Let us have rest of mind. This money, surely we will get it. By God's grace, we will get it. We will get it. It's our money. The secret has been open. We have the money there. Government cannot take it from us. It's an NGO money. 
If government try it, that's why we are going. If government try to do that, we will know what will happen at the end of the day. And this government, we are this government, present government. I believe in this present government. They cannot do that. The reason why Nigeria remains the way it is is that because we always lay calls on our president. We lay calls on our land, Nigeria. Let's try it in Nigeria for one month. Let's be praying for our president. Pray everybody. Let's gather together. Ausa, Yibo, Fulani, Yoruba. Let's be praying for this country. Let's be praying for our government. Let's see if there will be no changes. But someone will wake up in the morning. We lay calls on the president. Another person will wake up. We lay calls on the president. This one will wake up. We lay calls on the country. Our country. That is why you see all this thing is happening. Government are convinced. Eh? Kidnappers everywhere. Uh, killings, ritualists, Yahoo. So we have to we have to start praying for this country. Me as a person, I'm not ready to run away from Nigeria. Nigeria will better my person by God's grace. Nigeria must better will celebrate this country. This country will change. I want you people to remember what happened in Ghana. Ghana, a lot of people ran away from Ghana. Rollins came in. I don't pray what happened during the I don't pray for killings. He came in and everybody sent Ghana back. He said they should send Ghana back to their country. In one voice, in prayer, everybody, everything settled. Do you, do you believe God really loves killings? Sharing bloods? God is angry. God is angry for what is happening in this country. Because some people want to eat. They believe in killing their own brother before they can survive. Why? I know one day God will intervene and this country will change for good. So I'm begging every one of us to stay calm. Don't think anything. Relax your mind. Pray to Almighty God. Eat food. Eat fruit. Rejoice in the Lord. Give God the glory. Pray for the country director. Pay for APGN. Pay for this country. And you see what will happen at the end of the day. Don't give money to anybody again. If anyone comes on your way, he wants to go somewhere, he's a fighter, he's a this, he are, they are lying to you. Don't give anybody your money. Use your money to feed your family. Feed yourself. A little you have, feed it, feed yourself. Don't give it out again. They are scammers. Admiral is not fighting for the masses. Let him come out and tell me if truly he's fighting for the masses. Let him come out and lay cause for himself if truly the money is in the account of Oposiken and see what will happen to him. Why all this nonsense? Why all this confusion? My blood is hot. I don't like it. I'm begging Nigerians. Everybody should calm down. Calm down. If truly we don't have the money, why did they call them for profiling? Why? Why they drop their accounts? They are men in flesh. We are born to make a mistake. And we are born to correct mistake. They might make mis mistake in the past and they have corrected it because of the poor masses. So let's stop abusing them. Let's stop laying calls on them. Let's stop coming out to talk to tell Nigerians what we don't know about them. I pray to God. I say, God, let me know the truth. I'm in darkness. And God has showed me the truth. I've seen the truth. Everything was shown to me. Not all, but the one I, I saw is okay by me. So I'm begging Nigerians. They have done profiling. Everything has been done perfectly. What we are expecting is for the money to drop into their accounts and they will disburse. Nothing else. So now I believe by God's grace in very soon. Now let me say, I don't want to give date or time. But I know that we will smile. We will smile. We will smile. We will smile. Go and write it down. We will smile. We will get this money. Don't let anyone to use VN to kill you. Don't let anyone to use VN to give you BP. All that's been telling you is a lie. I love you all. God will bless Nigerian. Let's be, I mean, come and let's be praying for Nigeria, Afghan, uh, APGN, and uh, uh, the country director of UAG. 
May God bless you all. I love you all. God bless you all. Bye for now.